I initially traveled to London just to see my sister. She's over in London finishing her her education and going to graduate school. That way. See, every day, we didn't have any plans. We didn't have an agenda. We just were wandering around. She was showing me the places that she liked, showing me the place that she now calls home. And, you know, we just got coffee and told stories and made each other laugh. And it was a, it was a great time just hanging out with my sister. You know, right before I left for this trip, I was fortunate enough to be able to get a new camera, the Fujifilm X-Pro3. And it was great to learn a new tool that helps me create. And London's such a great spot to, to photograph. There's so much energy in the people and so much history in the landmarks you see. What I didn't realize was how much I needed this trip. Not just to see my sister, but as a creative break, a creative reset. Spending a week where I just walked around and took photos whatever caught my eye, whatever person caught my interest, figuring out a way to capture it. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily trying to figure out the best way to capture one thing, but just looking for anything. I had no goal in the photos I took no collection I was trying to create, just trying to remember an experience. And a lot of the photos I took weren't about what was actually in the photo. A lot of times, it was the memory behind it. The joke my sister was telling me as I was taking the photo, or the story she had told me of, you know, a funny thing that had happened to her. We were just having a good time. And that, that's what I needed. I needed to really have a great time and just dive into photography. Having fun, taking photos, documenting people and the excitement and their laughter as they see incredible things in a, a beautiful city. I thought I went on this trip to just see my sister, but it ended up being way more meaningful than that.